So there is a saying that the Dutch love to use, which is do normal, which basically means try to act normal, don't rock the boat, tro don't try to stand out too much, just basically fit in. And look, this phrase kind of confused me because the more I learn, the more I realize that there is nothing normal about the Netherlands or the Dutch. I mean, from the way the country has been developing all the way to the infrastructure of the cities. This is not do norm how. All right, now look, hear me out, because look, I don't need nobody pulling up on me. If you want to pull up, pull up in the comments. So look, it's not that I don't understand do norm how. It's just that the longer I live in the Netherlands, the more and more I start to understand that there's no way the Dutch could be do no malin all over the place. I mean, it almost feels like there's some kind of natural instinct to keep pushing, keep trying to do better. And now the reason I say this, the reason I say that the Dutch don't just be do no malin all over the place is not a bad thing. It's not, it's not what you think. Because you see, the other day I was watching this Johnny Harrison video and he was talking about the Netherlands. And look, this video fascinated me, like for real. Like I was watching this video and I was just like, really? Wow, like what? Because you see, to sum it all up, he was talking about how the Dutch are basically at war with the ocean and the Dutch are winning. It's the ocean versus the Dutch. That's the battle that's going on right now. And now, if you can't understand why this is a big deal, just think about New Orleans and Hurricane Katrina and how New Orleans would never be the same after this. Matter of fact, they still having problems with flooding and water. Meanwhile, the Dutch are over here just spanking the ocean, just like, get out my face. They've developed a whole system, a whole science behind hydrological engineering that has allowed them to combat the effects and the erosion of the ocean. Look, listen, a war with the ocean, that's not do normal. And now, quick side note, wow, it turned out to be super nice today. It was so cold this morning when I went into the office. Something else too, in one of my recent videos, I had a bunch of people pulling up in the comments talking about how the Dutch basically invented capitalism and the stock market. And after putting on my detective hat, just call me Detective Sky Money, it's true. <laughs> like, who looks at a bunch of numbers and like, you know what? This could make some money. How do you make the stock market? I mean, how do you come up with investing like who came up with this like how look it don't even matter how the point is this is not do no mal i mean look can you imagine being the dude who invented investing in stock market right being that dude and someone telling him like yo 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 chill out chill out do no mal man do no mal oh snap look at that truck Ooh, feel like i'm back in america they ain't pulling up with a dodge ram on them wow you know, I don't see, we don't see trucks a lot here, but you just forget how, you forget how big those trucks are. Man, they are huge. So look, I remember when I first moved here, like my first week, right? I still remember me and my son were out, we were going for a walk, walking to the park. We go past a trash can, like a trash, like, you know, you put trash in it, right? Walking past this trash can, and no joke, we didn't see this truck come along. And I'm thinking they're gonna lift up the truck and kind of like dip it in there. No, they, no. What this guy did was he got out of the truck, grabbed a remote control, and at the top of the truck, there is a hook or some kind of, some kind of mechanism, like almost looks like a crane. He pulls up to the trash can, and lifts the trash can up out of the ground and there's a big, long trash can just sitting in the earth. But yes, the dude sits back with his remote control like strapped to him and he just lifts the trash can up out of the ground, dumps it in the trash truck and then puts it back. Man, look, when I first saw this, me and my son were like, look, I was shook. <laughs> I was just blown away. Oh, we hot, we hot. Do normal. Do normal, be normal, act normal. The, as the Japanese would say, the nail sticking out gets hammered. Look, I'm telling you, the more and more I find out about this country, the more and more I just don't even believe it. Like I hear about it and I've heard this saying a while ago, Not no, nobody never told me to do this. No, but again, the more and more I learn, the more and more I pay attention to things around me, the more and more, I, look, I don't believe it. I, I don't believe that that's a cultural norm. Do no mal, I, I don't believe it. Matter of fact, let me show you something that I just realized like 
two weeks. So now to show you guys this, I'm gonna pull up in this Albert Hine right here, cause they, they got this stuff. Okay, got the chips, Ooh, let's lift you guys up. All right, so now what we have here are some Doritos. And actually we got some cool, I've eaten these before here and I never knew they were called Cool American. They're usually called Cool Ranch in the state, but Cool American, I guess. So anyway, we got these Doritos Cool American chips. And at the bottom of the bag, you will notice there's a little score on there. That is a nutrition score. And now this is fairly new. And actually, I didn't really notice it until I would say about three months ago. And I was just like, huh. And then I started seeing this nutrition score on like a lot of things. Matter of fact, side note, who would have thought that these Doritos are a B? <laughs> I thought these was gonna be an E, like easily. And now back to this do normal thing, like this, this is not normal. <laughs> and I like, I know I'm being a bit silly, but I'm also being dead serious. Like, come on, do you know how much time you save from just looking at this nutrition score versus reading the back <laughs> of the ingredients? Like, you know how much time you save it? And now I do have to be honest, I don't actually know if like the Dutch like just did this, but I'll be real, I have not seen, I was just in London recently, I would say maybe four weeks ago, I didn't see it there. I also did not see it in Belgium when I recently went there too, and I did not see it on my last visit in Germany. I've only seen it in the Netherlands. But look, if I am wrong, look, hit me up. I am prone to not knowing everything. <laughs> so yeah, let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh, and something else too. This bottle, for example. Look, you twist the top off, right? And the top stays on the bottle. Like, <laughs> now again, this is something that I don't know. I'm pretty, I have not seen this anywhere within my recent travels recently. But yeah, this has been here for a minute. This is not normal. This is not do normal. Matter of fact, pull it in because this top right here, this top is sauce. But no, seriously though, this is just something else that I noticed just, just gets taken to a whole nother level. Save you time, less wasteful. Like, Pip, I don't, like what, like, who would have thought of something like this? Okay, now real quick, I need to get a couple of things for work done, but let's grab our coffee. So we're gonna grab a quick coffee at Volksloff. Okay, now that we got our cappuccino, I pulled out these wireless microphones. I always have these on me, but I pulled these out for an example. And I'm not literally talking about the microphone itself. I'm talking about the fact that you can use it wirelessly and especially using it through Bluetooth. Which brings me to my next point, and that is the Dutch actually helped invent this because they invented Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I did not notice until maybe about a month ago when I was talking with a coworker about it. But yeah, Wi Fi and Bluetooth, completely Dutch. And look, I'm being real, I don't know where I would be without Wi Fi with these two things. I don't, like, I couldn't work from home. I wouldn't be able to set up shots like this. I wouldn't be able to use my cell phone. I wouldn't, like, there's so much that you cannot do without Wi Fi. And look, I'm sorry to say this, but Wi Fi and Bluetooth is not do normal. Do you know how crazy this person had to come off? to everybody in the world, not just his friends, not just his family, not just his wife or her wife, whoever it was, whoever invented this, they must have come off so crazy to the people around them. Like, I don't even think it was, in, I don't even think it was invented that long ago. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm look it up right now using the Wi-Fi from <laughs> the float slot <laughs> from this cafe. Dang, side note, I just realized the, I just realized the Dutch invented the microscope. <laughs> and eye test, like what? But yeah, man, this is something that I use every day. Matter, most likely you probably use it every day too. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, you cannot get away from. I mean, even when you're trying to airdrop something to somebody, if your Bluetooth is turned off, it ain't working. I mean, look, even this shot right here, I mean, my camera is across the street. <laughs> like this is not possible without Bluetooth. Uh oh, did they just ruin my shot? I think they just ruined my shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh snap, I am seeing a bunch of trucks today. Dang, that is not normal. <laughs> okay, now I do gotta get back to work, but my point of the entire video is all of these things, this is not normal. This is not do normal. I'm sorry, do normal doesn't make sense to me. That's all I'm saying. It does not make sense to me based off the people that I know here, the, the things that I've learned, 
bottle cap, also as well as the, just the entire infrastructure of the Netherlands. Come on, that is not do normal. But you know what, listen, as I walk around this corner using my Bluetooth microphone <laughs> to get this shot without costing like a million bucks, I have to ask you guys, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about the whole phrase do normal or, you know, the, the nail that sticks out gets hammered? Because those are very similar phrases. But what do you guys think about it? Especially if you are Dutch, I would love to know. Because think about it, I'm just being real. The, nutri nu the nutrition score, the bottle cap, all of this, this ain't, look, come on. How crazy is this alone? Like, look, come on. You know how far away I'm in from the camera and I'm not using like a full on one million dollar crew? Come on. But yeah, I am curious to know what you guys think about all of this. Because again, from what I've been seeing since I've been here, do normal is more like a suggestion. And I'm gonna be real, I couldn't even live without Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just throw it out there. I'm just super safe. But yeah, that is all I got. Let me know what you guys think of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I enjoyed making it and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get my booty back to work using Wi-Fi to work anywhere in the world that I want like a boss. <laughs> no, but seriously though, let me know what you think. And in the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Don't wait for an opportunity, create it. But I'ma just go ahead and super say it. That's what do no mouse sounds to me. For, I mean, just from the Dutch, I mean, they say one thing and they do another. That's all I'm saying.